Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Fong Yi, Middle School Principal, and welcome to our virtual annual award ceremony. This is a celebration recognizing our finest students and acknowledging their hard work and dedication to academic excellence and other areas of accomplishment. While we were not able to have an in-person ceremony this year, the faculty added a personal touch to their messages, and we hope it will make this presentation special for our students and their families. Today's award ceremony is a great representation of the progress we've all made this year by coming and staying together. Almost all great achievements and progress start with this idea of optimism. Helen Keller once said, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. This applies not only to our students, but to each and every one of us. The awards given today are divided into categories and represent everything from outstanding performance to overall best effort in specific subject areas and other special categories such as perseverance, citizenship, and the 8th grade principals award to name a few. A wide range of our very best students are represented and we're delighted to honor them all. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to my administration team the faculty and staff for their support and collective efforts in bringing out the best in all our students and without whom these achievements would not have been possible. To our parents, thank you for being a continuous support system throughout your child's journey and being here to celebrate with us. On behalf of the faculty, we wish our award recipients our sincere congratulations on a job well done. And now, the presentation of the awards beginning with the English department. The fifth grade English award recipient is a student who has displayed perseverance, integrity, and responsibility since the first day of school in both literature and writing lab. This student completes all homework on time, produces excellent quality assignments, and accepts teacher feedback to improve in all areas. Behind a shy and quiet demeanor is a perceptive and dependable student who goes above and beyond on every assignment. I'm very pleased to present the fifth grade English award to Julieta Massey. The student we are honoring today has excelled in all aspects of the realm of writing. From narrative to research base, his voice shone through and leapt off the page. He has a passion for learning and the charismatic ability to make the class smile. I have been lucky enough to have this student for two years and have witnessed this student become more confident and grow into a young man who takes responsibility for his own learning. The recipient of this award is attentive, self-motivated, responsible, diligent, perceptive, just to name a few. These traits are evident through his participation in class, work quality, and performance on test. It has been a pleasure to watch him grow as a writer and an utter joy to have in class. I am very pleased to present the 6th grade English award to Ryu Miki. Congrats Ryu, I'm so proud of you. Carlos Ruiz Safan once wrote, books are mirrors, you only see in them what you already have inside you. And if this is true, which I believe it is, then this student must be endlessly perceptive, curious, and outspoken in the best possible way. She finds the truth in the language and the meaning in the words, and her insight and empathy consistently drives our class discussions. Her presence isn't simply her obligation. Her presence in our class is a bright light that should be recognized for all it offers. She's a wonderful student and a delightful young lady, and I'm very pleased to present this year's seventh grade literature award to Gabby Fernandez. Congratulations, Gabby. You can always edit a bad page, but you can't fix a blank page. That quote has been on the board of our classroom all year. The student receiving the seventh grade writing award has put those words into practice by never leaving her page blank. On the contrary, as her paragraphs become pages, she might ask, when do I know I'm finished? But then she'll find just the right concluding sentence, turn to the student next to her, and then seamlessly offer her assistance and help. From fiction to literary analysis, her writing has evolved as she has discovered her own voice. She has a desire to learn, an ability to ask excellent questions, and make astute observations that drive our class discussions. I'm very pleased to present this year's seventh grade writing award to Sydney Brown. Congratulations. Oh. 
Understanding literature is not fast food. No one picks up a great work of literature, reads it quickly, and says to themselves, oh yeah, I get it. It's not the way it works. The recipient of the Literature Award had a moment that perfectly showed this. After reading a scene on his own for a Socratic seminar, he turned to his partner and said, yeah, I have no idea. I chuckled, and then I marveled at what came next. He struggled, thought it through, and in the end was able to share some great insight to the class. He got it because he worked for it. He showed this level of dedication and hard work from day one, and I feel privileged to have had him as a student. It is my honor to give the 8th grade English Literature Award to Naruki Kibuni. Often, this student has delivered quality writing and profound analysis whenever she was asked to. And just as often, this student felt that I was tormenting her for pushing her to think about the things she wrote about. Although it was a painstaking process, this student has displayed a remarkable amount of growth as a writer and as a thinker. It was a pleasure for me to see, even though it was a pain for her instead. In the end, I am glad that she allowed herself to struggle and to endure the process. The ideas that she arrived at contributed something unique and valuable to the class discussions that we have had. For this reason, and plenty of other ones, I am proud to present the Grade 8 Writing Award to Isabella Antorch, a thoughtful and original writer. It is with great pleasure that I present the 5th Grade Math Award to a student who demonstrates mathematical thinking and has keen awareness of relating math to the world around him. This student consistently pushes beyond expectations and self-advocates when needed. He is a highly motivated student who participates in class activities with creativity and enthusiasm. He demonstrates a good understanding of math concepts and studied and communicates with clarity. This student is the first to offer help to others when needed. His willingness to lead, organize, and inspire other students is evident. His work ethic and desire to learn has contributed to him being an outstanding math student. It is my honor to present the 5th grade math award to Jesse Mano. Keep up the great work in 6th grade, Jesse. The recipient of this award is a student who has been committed to doing his best from day one. He is an enthusiastic learner who looks forward to being at school on a daily basis. This student regularly volunteers to assist in classroom activities or to help one of his fellow classmates. In addition, this student likes to be challenged and stays thoughtful in his interactions with other students. I am proud to present the Grade 6 Math Award to Enzo Scafuro. Congratulations, Enzo! I have had the pleasure of teaching this student for the past two years. She represents the face of success in the classroom. Her commitment to quality work is commendable. This student strives to improve her problem-solving skills and is not afraid to seek new challenges. She also exhibits a positive outlook and attitude in the classroom all the time. I am pleased to announce that the Grade 7 Mathematics Award goes to Desi Price. Congratulations, Desi. The winner of this year's 8th grade math award is a hard-working student who didn't sit back and wait for answers to come. She actively sought answers by asking questions and practicing concepts to gain understanding. She has excellent work habits and has never missed a deadline. Equally as impressive, she's a very thoughtful individual who is extremely observant and cares about her fellow human beings and the health of the planet. I have no doubt that she'll help steer the progress of future generations. This year's 8th grade math award was earned by Natalia Aguilar. It is my privilege and honor to present the top student award for 5th grade science to a student who has been academically consistent all year. I also want to congratulate all of my students for navigating through an unprecedented an unparalleled school year. Each and every one of you have risen to the challenge and I am pleased to present the award 
for top student in fifth grade science to Julieta Massey. Julieta, your consistency, dedication, and perseverance have served you well. Always remember, success is not an accident. It is hard work, sacrifice, and most of all, love for what you are doing. May you always find your success. It's my pleasure to present the sixth grade science award. This award is being awarded to a student who has demonstrated a keen interest in earth and space science. This student listens attentively, actively participates in class discussions, and strives to connect the con science concepts learned to real world applications. This student has learned remotely throughout the entire school year and remained accountable and responsible for completing all of his assignments. This student self-advocates and looks for opportunities to improve. He always gives his 100% and takes pride in his work. It is with great pleasure to award Alvaro Gorin with the 6th grade Science Award. Congratulations, Alvaro. I have the pleasure to present the 7th grade Science Award to a student who consistently demonstrates excellence in the classroom. I've had the opportunity to observe the student's growth in writing scientifically through constructing evidence-based explanations and developing argumentation from evidence over the past two years. Her ability to problem solve and relate topics to real world applications exhibits her leadership qualities. Her outstanding grades are a reflection of her participation in class, eagerness to problem solve, and responsibility. I am very pleased to present the 7th grade Science Award to Tate Krawecki Gazes. Congratulations, Tate. This student has been a wonderful addition to my science class. We have had some excellent conversations about cars, technology, and culture. Many students look to him for guidance and direction. They are not wrong. He is a guiding light and someone to look up to. Please keep working hard and following your exceptional ability in science. Especially in these times, we need phenomenal scientists and thinkers striving to create, innovate, discover, and research. I look forward to hearing about all of your endeavors in the future. The award, the award for eight, top 8th grade science goes to Naruki Abu. This student has shown a keen interest in social studies right from the start. He knew his US geography and states very well. He wrote compare and contrast paragraphs that were detailed and clear. His imaginary island map project was flawless and included every single required element. And his colonial job poster was well researched and had a really nice visual design. It wasn't just the high grades he earned, but this student never missed a single homework assignment all year. I get the feeling that this may not be the last social studies award he will win in middle school. I'm so proud to present the fifth grade social studies award to Ari Chai. This student is hardworking and always strives to excel in everything he does. He works well with his peers and has shown an impressive willingness to take risks. His political ad project was exciting and engaging, made all the more fun by his intense voiceover work. His globalization research project was well researched and had a clear, informative design. Beyond high grades, this student never missed an assignment. It has been a pleasure to teach this student this past year, and I am confident this is not the final social studies award he will earn during his years here. I am honored to present the sixth grade social studies award to Ryu Miki. This student is one of the most naturally composed and confident students I have ever taught. She embodies the values of a Gulliver student, acting with respect and kindness towards her fellow students. She brings a fantastic energy to the classroom and to any group that she participates in. This student naturally gravitates towards positions of leadership, while still being a curious learner and insightful student of history. Her hard work and insightful contributions are matched only by her perseverance and flexibility, and she is eminently deserving of this award. I am proud to present the 7th grade Social Studies Award to Issa Vega.
this student is one of the most meticulous and careful people I have ever taught. She will check and recheck her answers on even the most mundane classwork until she is sure that it is her best. There have even been times where I have had to gently remind her that there is such a thing as writing too much in a written response. Nevertheless, she is a curious learner who enjoys participating in class discussions and routinely gives maximum effort in all she does. After having taught her both in sixth grade and this year, I will be sad to see her go, but I'm excited for her to be challenged further in high school. I'm honored to present the eighth grade social studies award to Paulina Gonzalez. Winston Churchill once said that continuous effort is the key to unlocking our potential. The student receiving this award can always be counted on to try his best on every assignment, every class, every day. Not only does he motivate himself to complete quality work on time, he's a source of motivation for his classmates, and he keeps the class animated with his engaging personality and intelligent commentary. In both my literature and writing classes, he has met every challenge and always has a positive attitude. Hard work and thoughtful effort are essential to a successful life. This, combined with his positive attitude, will undoubtedly light his way to a very bright future. The seventh grade best effort award in English goes to Matisse Bullrich. Congratulations. It's difficult to ignore this student's work and effort. This is because she types so dramatically that she makes it nearly impossible for us to ignore her work and effort. For this reason, but also for many others, her peers and myself are always made fully aware of how much thought and energy this student is putting into her writing. She asks questions whenever she must. Sometimes she asks me, sometimes she asks herself out loud. But whatever the case may be, she finds a way to get the work done. Her curiosity, her persistence, and her willingness to experiment and explore have all served her well, and I hope she continues to rely on these qualities as she moves on to high school. The Best Effort Award in 8th grade English goes to Eleanor Freckman. The Best Effort Award goes to a student whom I have seen blossom in Writing Lab since the first days in August. At the beginning of the school year, it was definitely a transition for this student because she was starting a new school, which meant meeting new friends, teachers, understanding expectations, routines, and even traveling a long way from home. Although the student travels a long distance to get to school, she is always the first face I see, and she never complains. Each day, I am proud to see her make strides with homework quality, effort on class assignments, and study strategies. I know that she will continue to grow as a student and have success. I am proud to present this Best Effort Award to Chloe Cypress. The Best Effort Award goes to a student who benefits from the skills and strategies I reinforce in English literature class. Despite traveling a great distance each morning to be here at school, this student greets me with a smile and displays an eagerness to learn and is attentive. Although this petite young lady seemed shy at first, her bright personality became evident. She now asks questions, reads confidently aloud in class, and participates in daily discussions. Her written responses to literature questions have become more detailed, reflective, and truly show a student who is willing to work hard, despite any challenges along the way. I am confident that she will continue to grow and be successful. It is my pleasure to present this Best Effort Award to Gia Cypress. They say that a craftsman is only as good as his tool. But then again, what good is a tool if you don't know how to use it? The recipient of this award put in the effort to master the tools that I have given him. Methods for annotating the text, organizers for planning his essays, and ways of looking at language with a critical eye. He's also a master of the many natural tools he possesses. His wonderful, warm sense of humor, his willingness to work through a problem, and his ability to learn from his mistakes. All these tools are helping to build a wonderful young man, and I'm just glad I got to be around to watch the construction at work. 
I'm proud to present the 8th Grade Effort Award in English to Ollie Jansen. A passion for the study of literature is not necessarily something that is innate in us. It is something that must be cultivated, a seed watered, planted, and left to flourish. The student we are honoring today exemplifies this transformation. I've had the joy of watching him evolve as a student for the past two years. From someone reluctant to even open a book and attempt to read, to someone striving for the highest scores on their exams. It is my great pleasure to present the 7th grade Best Effort Award to Jack Stula. Congrats, Jack. I'm so proud of you. It's always difficult to determine a single winner for the Best Effort in Math Award, as there are many students who put in extra time and work towards achievement. The award has been earned by a student who put in many hours at after-school tutorial and made frequent study hall visits. She worked hard to meet deadlines on a regular basis and always gave her best despite her honest admission that math is not her favorite subject, which really makes the work even that much more of a task. She remains resilient and positive. The best effort award in math has been earned by Estefania Lyons. The recipient of this award approaches every problem as an opportunity to learn. This leads to a deeper understanding of the concepts covered in this course and a greater appreciation of the subject of mathematics. She also welcomes leadership roles during class discussions and activities, encourages members of the group, and helps to keep her classmates engaged. Finally, in addition to setting an example of excellence in her behavior and cooperation, this student continues to seek new challenges and strives to reach her full potential. I am happy to announce that the Best Effort Mathematics Award goes to Kiara Wagner. Congratulations, Kiara. It is my privilege and honor to present the Best Effort Award for 5th grade science to a student who has shown an amazing commitment to their learning. Along with their academic success, they have shown tremendous fortitude and diligence during these difficult and often trying times. This student has consistently participated, asked questions, and shared their scientific thinking. I am honored to present the Best Effort Award for 5th grade science to Hayden Amron. Keep up the great work, we are proud of you, and remember, the roots of true achievement lie in the will to become the best you can become. It is with great pleasure to have the opportunity to present this effort award. This student has continued to put his best foot forward and has made tremendous effort and growth this school year in science. He worked hard at improving his writing in science and preparing for tests. He is interested in his own learning, listens attentively, and makes a solid effort to avoid distractions. He is accountable and responsible for completing his assignments accurately. This student enjoys participating, especially when we're working on an experiment. He makes smart decisions and looks for opportunities to improve. He strives to give 100% and takes pride in his work. It is with great pleasure to award Jack Thornton with the Science Effort Award. Congratulations, Jack. This student is the most sincere student I have met. He is known for being a good listener and a team player, but I see so much more in him. His lines of inquiry are often deep and well thought out. He thinks before he speaks, and he understands the consequences of his actions in science and in life in general. I have witnessed him work tirelessly to complete projects ahead of schedule, and his follow through is unrivaled. When he asks a question, he truly wants to understand the details. It is because of this and much more, I am truly convinced that no one else but Thomas Thornton deserves this award. It is with great honor I present Tommy the award for best effort in science. From amongst my classes, this one student stands out as the most steady improver of all. 
Since August until now, she has consistently raised her performance in all areas of social studies. Despite the challenges of remote learning, that has not stopped her from remaining engaged every day in class and completing assignments. I know it hasn't always been easy for her, but she has persevered and continued to try her hardest. This is the third straight year of having her in my social studies class, and I will certainly miss her. But if she maintains a high work ethic like this year, then I'm sure she'll be fine. It is my pleasure to present the Best Effort in Social Studies Award to Sarah Bilaski. The first word that comes to mind when I think of this student is fierce. From the very beginning of the year, she has worked hard, acknowledging her areas of growth and committing herself to overcoming them. A mountain could not slow this student down. With each new assignment and each new unit, this student attacks the material with an unyielding vigor and eagerness to understand. Both in class and in her work, she seeks out assistance when she encounters difficulty, and she never loses sight of her goal. This fierceness will continue to serve her well as she moves on to her final year of middle school. It is my pleasure to present the Best Effort in Social Studies Award to Sydney Brown. The student that I'm honoring today with the Active Learner Award understands the benefits of learning who she is as a learner. She finds value in the executive function skills we teach our students and strives to, the, to apply them in everything that she does. This student knows that her success comes from hard work and consistency. In class, she does more than just listen. She asks questions to further her understanding. She remains engaged during the lesson and she never shies away from work. The Active Learner Award goes to Hayden Amron. The Citizenship Award is given to students who continually contribute to the Gulliver community. They demonstrate kindness, respect, integrity, generosity, care for others, and are willing to help without being asked. You can understand that as a Dean of Students, this award holds a very special place in my heart, as these students make my job easier. The fifth grade recipient of this award embodies all these qualities. She is kind, helpful, and always eager to help with any task, academic or not. She will always greet you with a sweet hello or good morning and has excellent manners. This student is the first one to be complimentary of her peers when they present in class and has never uttered a negative comment to anyone. The fifth grade citizenship award goes to Charlotte Shaw. This next student is an excellent member of the community. She is positive, upbeat, and has brought great energy to our Gulliver family. This student never speaks down to anyone and is very well liked by her peers and teachers. She follows the rules with natural ease and is a great role model to her classmates. She is an all around fantastic student and really deserving of this award. The sixth grade citizenship award goes to Kiara Wagner. The following student has an easygoing personality and is an essential part of our community. She livens up class discussions and pushes her peers to do their best with laughter and kindness. When her classmates are confused, she helps them. When they do well, she celebrates them. She is a leader, a reliable classmate, and a joy to be around. I have had the pleasure of knowing her for three years and she remains true to herself and her values. It gives me great pleasure to give the seventh grade citizenship award to Isabella Vega. The eighth grade recipient is incredibly humble, kind-hearted, and well-liked by his peers. He is very witty and makes everyone around him feel good. This student is described by his teachers as always helping out his classmates with patience and kindness in a way that makes them feel good about themselves. He never utters a negative comment about anything or anyone. It has been a pleasure to watch him grow throughout his middle school years. The 8th grade citizenship award goes to none other than Gregorio Katz. Homework is generally assigned for students to have the opportunity to review and apply concepts presented in class. The time and dedication required to complete every homework assignment for every single class is an accomplishment that is not easily attained. 
I am proud to honor two students that are commended for having 100% homework completion this entire school year and are the recipients of the Perfect Homework Award. The first honoree always goes above and beyond what is expected. This student self-advocates and possesses the drive to accomplish any goal desired. Our first recipient is Isabella Antorcha. The second honoree is equipped with the confidence to ask pertinent questions to effectively complete a task. This student demonstrates leadership skills that are necessary when working with others. Our second recipient is Paulina Gonzalez. Congratulations. Perseverance is the ability to keep doing something in spite of obstacles. Those people who persevere stick to a plan, no matter how hard it is or how long it takes to reach their goal. The recipient of the Perseverance Award came from New York City to Miami. He is a student who struggled with the transition but pressed on to manage his activities, workload, and expectations. Teachers describe him as the kind of student who takes the strategies he learned and applies them in his daily life. He is courteous and well-mannered at all times. He has learned the art of self-monitoring and reflection and is looking forward to high school. It is my pleasure to announce the winner of this award, Ollie Jansen. Congratulations. The COOP Award is given to a student who is well-rounded, involved in multiple school activities, is proud to represent Gulliver, brings group together, and enjoys having fun. This year, we have two students who are deserving of this award. The first student is an extremely busy young lady. She can be found with a racket on the tennis court, shooting hoops, or spiking a volleyball. She participates in all Spirit Week activities and shows great Gulliver pride. This student is respectful to teachers and peers, always looks out for other people, and is considerate of their feelings. Her humble demeanor would never let you know that she is as talented as she is. Her smile and positive attitude, along with her undying humility, make her loved by her fellow students, teachers, and administrators. It is with great pride that I present the Les Cooperman Award to Caitlin Dolphin. The second recipient of the Coop Award is a young man who is a leader in and out of the classroom. He is unafraid to compete and try a new sport and is an integral part of the football, basketball, track, and baseball teams. He exemplifies what a student athlete should look like by maintaining high academic averages and balancing his schoolwork with his extracurricular activities. This student is also a very talented artist. You would never know that he came to the U.S. in fifth grade and fought hard to learn the language and culture. This student is admired by all his peers, not just because of his accomplishments, but because of his humility and kindness to others. I am honored to have been a part of his journey. The Les Cooperman Award goes to Naruki Yabune. Each year, an outstanding student is honored by the Independent Schools of South Florida. This organization usually has a special event to celebrate these students, but because it could not be held this year, we would like to recognize this student. The student who receives this award is nominated by teachers for being a role model and setting an example for others to follow and excelling in the following areas, academics, citizenship, athletics, perseverance, effort, dedication, commitment to positive goals, improvement in performance and attitude. I'm very pleased to announce the winner of this year's Star Student Award, Sydney Brown. The hero's journey is captured in many great stories in literature and in great movies we enjoy on the big screen. The story typically starts with a hero who goes on a journey and experiences a series of challenges. And through these challenges, acquire courage, discipline, and resilience, and discover a greater awareness of who they are and what they want to become. This year's Principal Award goes to a hero 
whose journey through middle school has been an adventure of challenges, learning, and victory. There were years of developing skills that often did not come naturally, and a struggle between being inconsistent and taking responsibility and making these skills his own. On his journey, the student discovered that there's no quick fix, but if you keep at it, gradually you will see a champion beginning to emerge. So in the context of hope and enthusiasm, this student began his eighth grade year, driven with specific goals in mind. I'm not sure which came first, the drive to succeed in the classroom or the drive to succeed on the basketball court. But by learning to set a goal and follow through, the pursuit of one helped him achieve both goals. Besides this, all his teachers cannot help but mention the strength of his character and the fine young man he is. I know this, is a, this student is a fan of Marvel superhero movies, and in the end, he has become his own superhero. I'm very proud to present this year's Principal Award to Tommy Thornton.